Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I very easily created a Windows 10 bootable USB. It's a very easy process. It requires us to download a software called Rufus. Rufus is a free open source portable application for Windows that can be used to format and create bootable USB flash drives or live CDs for Windows. Guys, I want to remind you that if this video helps you achieve your goal, please don't forget to show some love. You can show us some love by subscribing, liking the video, sharing the video, because it's that love that keeps us making more videos. It also shows us that you guys really appreciate what you do. So without further ado, let's jump in and make a bootable USB drive for Windows 10. I would like you to open up your browser. Head straight to Google and search for the application called Rufus, one that is going to help us achieve our goal right now. On the Rufus website, all we need to do here is to, uh, to scroll down to the download section, download the Rufus application, save it. In my case, I've already downloaded it. I'm not going to save it again. But once the download finishes, all you need to do is to locate where the downloaded file is. Most of the times it's going to be in your download folders. Look for the Rufus file. It should look similar to mine. Right click on it and run it as an administrator. The first thing we're going to need to set here is the device. This is the USB that we need to make bootable. Um, if you have multiple USBs connected to your computer, you'll have all of them listed under this field here but in my case i only have one connected to my computer so that's the only one that will be listed under this field you need to make sure under the file system you can leave the rest as is but you need to make sure under the file system we have ntfs selected and another field that you need to take care of is the one that says create a bootable disk using you need to make sure the next field has iso image selected just like mine and then all you need to do here is to click on the disk image next to the ISO image field to select your Windows 10 ISO file, one that you want to put on your disk, on your USB. Click there. Mine is located on the desktop, so I'll just click on the desktop. Here it is. Select it and then click open. Once you have set all that, once you have selected the Windows ISO image that you want to put on your USB, just click Start. You will see this warning. Just click OK. And then wait for this bar to all be green, which shows that everything has been finished. So guys, it seems as if our application has finished copying our Windows 10 ISO image to our USB after it finishes the new USB will be a Windows 10 bootable device hope you like the video and if you do please don't forget to show some love by subscribing liking sharing the video and uh, it's because of that love that we keep on making these videos and you also show us that you really guys appreciate what we do so please don't forget to show some love don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share the video. Peace, I'm out.